of you, but Brother Wayne yesterday was praying with me about Jerry. And he said something that, that I never really, you know, I, I knew it, but I didn't, it just hadn't registered. In that prayer, he said, God, he said, in this thing that we call life, we know that you're the head of it. And he said, God, we know what medical science can do today. And we stand up and talk about all of the healings in medical science. When we really know, Lord, that all the medical signs came from you. Amen. So, hey, I give him praise this morning. Every doctor that has the ability to do for a person what they need, I, today, I praise God for it. I will tell you, we are in a day and an hour that, that but we are like Paul and Silas to a certain extent. That, you know, the world has come against us. Uh, the government has come against us. Uh, but it seems like that wicked people are in wicked pos or in positions. And the Lord spoke to me this morning. And he said, everybody that is in a position, they are not wicked. But those people that are in positions uh, that are doing things that brings evil on the land, that they just don't have uh, enough of guts to stand up and say, this is the way it should be. I want to tell you, it's time America stands up. It's time the church stands up. But if the church doesn't stand up, America will never stand up. They need to see that they in prayer that we can move mountains. Is this thing messing up? It sounds like it's echoing real bad. Don't turn it down, though. I need it. I want to tell you what. When Paul and Silas was cast into prison, they were cast in prison for a reason. They were not cast into prison because they were drunks. They were not cast into prison because they were alcoholics and drug addicts. They, they were not cast into prison for anything except doing the work of the Lord. Carrying the gospel. And the Bible said that in the ministry, in Paul's ministry, that this woman, this evil woman, that was a, was a fortune teller, was following Paul around. And he was going places preaching. And it grieved Paul. And it, it bothered him that this evil person was coming around saying, Oh, bless these men that are God or of you, and bless them, and this and that. And the Bible said he got tired of it, and he turned around and rebuked her, and commanded that spirit to come out of her. And it came out of her. That's why that they cast Paul and Silas in prison. Because the, the woman full of the devil, with the evil spirit, the fortune teller, they saw, uh, their, their bosses saw that they were losing uh, someone that was very uh, powerful to them in making their money. So they got upset and they said, okay, we're going to take Paul and Silas. We're going to stop this thing. Let me tell you, the government, are, they are not for us. They are against us. People in leadership position from the White House right on down, they make decisions, and I'm not saying they're all lost, but they don't pray about what they should do. You say, you know, wait a minute, I've heard the president say that he prayed. Well, let me tell you what. In making decisions that you make, God is not going to honor your prayer. You have got to have a clean heart and a life when you pray for God to answer your prayer. It's time that some honest, hard-working, God-fearing, God-loving, devil-haters stand up in the church and we get a prayer team together and a prayer group together and we declare and take back Stone County and America and the world. He said, how can we take the world back? It start. It has to start somewhere. Or we're going to wait for somebody else to start it. Maybe we get in on the tail end of it. Why don't we start something? This gentleman this morning is very odd that this happened. Brother Allen told us at the prayer breakfast Tuesday about this gentleman. He said another denomination. Not a denomination, Pentecostal, but, but their, their beliefs are different. But he still serves the same God. Full of the Holy Ghost. Brother Allen gave me his number this morning. I called him and he said, I'm in Florida, bro, but I'm going to pull off the side of the road. I believe that if you cared enough to call me, that I need to care enough to try to listen to you. And he pulled off. He said, let me, let me find a, a store somewhere, a building, to get off the road. He did. And he began to, he began to, uh, I began to talk to him. And the Holy Ghost began to witness through him. And he began to pray in tongues. And he said, brother, I want to tell you something. He said, the reason I'm going to Maine is exactly the reason that you're talking to me right now. He said, there's a church there. 
And that church, that pastor has been there for 20 years. But it seemed like in that 20 years of him being there, pastoring, and I'm thinking, we've been here almost 20 years. He said it's like that he doesn't have a cord that will get behind him. I'm going there to set this in order with this pastor and get this church building open and get people in it to pray in that cord and seeking God. And he said, you know what? God's going to turn things around. He's going to fill it full of the Holy Ghost. 